Beep, 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 beep. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Welcome to the court of the EDI Jester. Um, thank you for your continued viewing and thank you for your continued support. What have I got for you today? Monroe bloody Bergdorf. Monroe bloody Bergdorf. What the hell is wrong with the world? Now, you know as well as I do, the, um, the, the, the critical social justice trans nutters and oh, look a bit to cue, hands, knees and bumps to daisy people have their fair share of monsters in their ranks. And it's interesting to see here the Telegraph supporting on this particular monster, who has <clears throat> historically got an absolute rogering by Andrew Neil on television. If I can find that, I'll put it in the links in the, in the tubers. An absolute rogering from him, really, in terms of the, of the, of the swill that comes out of this bloke's mouth. So he, he, gave, he gave him a going over, he disappeared for a while, and then he, he, was, he was supposed to be a charity something or other, and he got kicked off of that. So he's, he's this sort of, he's, he's, he's altered his body to such an extent that he looks like Jessica Bloody Rabbit, you know? That's what he looks like, Jessica Rabbit, right? Because he's altered himself so much. And it's an extraordinary thing to me and to many other people who, are, who, who have been watching that, that the UN, the United Nations, which is totally unfit for purpose at this point, by the way, along with the WF and the WHO, all right? Unfit for purpose. They, uh, they've uh, made transgender model, model Munro Bergdorf uh, they're women of women of the year. What, what, what woman of the year? In what way is he woman? He's just a bloke. So we've got Joe Bartosz. Yeah, Bartosz uncovers. <laughs> Joe Bartosz has written a great piece on the third January um, in the Torygraph. I love how Joe writes. She's collaborating with Rob Jessel, uh, I think, and doing a new book, I believe. So that'll be interesting. They're doing a new book on pornography. Plenty to talk about there, Josephine. So yeah, so that's something that I think will be coming in the new year. Oh, it is the new year, which will be coming this year. I've got no idea what day it is. I'm an insane man. So let's have a look and see what they had to say. Perhaps UN Women UK couldn't find any candidates of the traditionally biological female kind for the role of UK champion. How else are we to explain the selection of Munro Bergdorf, the divisive bloke, I'm not going to say transgender activist, the divisive bloke and model who infamously dubbed the suffragettes white supremacists. He's about like 28 or something. With 30, maybe a bit older, he's just, he doesn't know son all about anything. Mm. The move makes an absolute mockery of an organisation that is supposed to focus on women and girls and the unique difficulties they face. On being appointed last year, <clears throat> Bergdorf said, I will use this role to further advocate for the progress, safety, inclusion and empowerment of all women and girls of all communities and identities. It's hard not to be a little skeptical about this, Joe responds. Just look at Bergdorf's track record in 2018 on the day of the Women's March. The activist warned prospective attendees ahead of the event that to centre reproductive systems at the demonstration was reductive and exclusionary. In the same year, Bergdorf wrote a piece confidently declaring that women were getting feminism wrong Singled out for particular criticism was a well-intentioned yet misguided symbol of women's equality, the pink pussy hat, which was deemed to be insufficiently trans-inclusive. God, I hate this bloke. <laughs> right. As for uniting communities, Bergdorf's first major controversy ignited in 2017 when the model briefly became the face of L'Oreal, only to fall immediately into a race row. Well, I'm surprised. I'm not surprised. This bloke is the collection of all the nasties, you know? Right? He's like a, he's like a sort of plastic Pandora's box. <laughs> so <clears throat> after saying, which is what he said, I mean, this, this is why Andrew Neil gave him a kick in, right? It's so glorious to watch. <clears throat> after saying white people's existence, entire existence is drenched in racism. It's difficult to see how on earth Bergdorf is an appropriate choice for a role that is, at least in theory, tied to sex-based oppression. As fair play for women has pointed out, from genital mutilation to rape as a war crime, from pregnancy to forced marriage, many of the issues women's groups are concerned about are inextricably linked with our female biology. How can this person be a champion of women if these issues are deemed unmentionable? Then again, says Joe, perhaps it's not much of a surprise after all. The wider UN has in recent weeks shown itself to be unwilling or incapable or of standing up unequivocally for the rights of women. It took fully 57 days to condemn the acts of violence that Hamas, sexual violence that Hamas guillotined against Israel women on October the 7th. 57 days for the UN women to say anything. God, 
the Jewish chronicles alleged that Bergdorf <clears throat> was rather swift in responding, reporting that just hours after the October the 7th attack, the activists' Instagram story informed the world that much of what's happening in occupied Palestine will be in future history books as an example of a revolutionary struggle. What a vile man he is. Munro bloody Bergdorf. Together with Bergdorf's well-known views on sex and gender, that would be disqualifying for many roles. It is, however, perfectly in keeping with the disgraceful spineless stance the UN has chosen to take in Gaza. It is hard not to suspect that Bergdorf's priorities may lie in supporting the fashionable causes that they have devoted their previous activism to. And less to the women that their new role is meant to champion. The reputation of UN Women UK has been sullied, like its namesake it appears to be less interested in defending human dignity and the rights of women than in signalling support for divisive activism. Don't you just love how Joe writes? Don't you just love it? <clears throat> so we've got a bloke who's tweaked his body, like, you know, so he looks like Barbie, his, his fetishised and pornified idea of what a woman is. Him, him there with his big, you know, with his fake bazookas, <laughs> and his lips, and the long hair, you know, and the pout. It's all there, in it, eh? Cross-dressing, cross LARPing fetishist are we talking about here? Are we? Is that what he is? What do you think? You can tell me in the comments, anyway. From my perspective, Munro Bergdorf has been around a while now and it's a time that he was put to bed because he's also, he's also a horrible homophobe, isn't he? There's a picture of him going around with what he said. Called women dykes. I mean, it, the, this, is, this is the new queers, isn't it? This is the queers, as they call themselves. The Q, the T and the Q that we so desperately want to get off of the LGB. In full flow. Absolute unmitigated nutters, right? And nasty ones as well. They're every, they're every horror. You know, racism, homophobia, misogyny anti-human, anti-science, anti-reality. They represent the very worst of what a dark, dismal future can bring to us with transhumanism and all the other rubbish that you would expect to be attached to it. And Munro Bergdorf's, you know, one of them. But that's enough from me. You tell me. What do you think in the comments? Start the conversation. Is it time that these men were called men full stop? Because I'm no longer using the term trans women. Or trans women. They're just men. It's important now as we move forward in 2024 that we very, very take very seriously the use of language. I think it's important. You might not. Tell me the tell me. Tell me in the comments. Do you think I'm right in that case? In which case we have to start using language as real. We stay out of their column, the column of madness. And we stay in the column of reality, which means that they're men. That's all they are. Men, cross-dressing men. That's the, I'll give them that. Cross-dressing men. LARPing as women. <clears throat> practicing women face. And essentially taking the piss. 2024. The year we took our language back. I'll see you later. Have a grand day. Bye.